Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. It has been quite the week reviewing all the starter pack ships that you can get on the store for Star Citizen if you are a new player, a returning player, or even if you just want to buy the ship outright, you know, as you know, someone that just wants a new small solo ship. These reviews have been just amazing. I've learned so much myself on certain ships here. So basically, I've come up with a couple different um, things. I want to kind of award certain categories for ships. Now, there's going to be three categories. Well, four categories. You're going to have best budget friendly. You're going to have best all arounder. You're going to have most combat capable and my pick for best overall. So these are obviously just my opinion. So please don't take it personal if something I picked isn't something you love the most. <laughs> now, again, I follow the numbers, I follow the stats, and I also follow personal experience with each one of these ships. So in the end, I really, really enjoyed doing this, and I cannot wait to review more and more ships in 3.23. Thank you, guys. I hope Invictus is amazing. So let's go ahead and start off with our first category, the best budget-friendly ship. Now, for this category, there's really only two competing ships because they both have a $45 game pack price as well as a $30 standalone price. That is the Aurora MR and the Mustang Alpha. Comparing both of them really quick, the Aurora MR has a bed, a small interior for box deliveries, three SCU of cargo, less DPS than the Mustang, and less health than the Mustang. Now, the Mustang does have four SCU, no bed or really any interior, and better DPS and more health. Honestly, for a starter ship and everything you get, I feel like the Aurora MR is the best budget-friendly ship, and that's because it has an interior, it has a bed, you're able to do just a bit more than you are with the Mustang Alpha. So that is my pick for best budget-friendly ship. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next category, which is the most combat capable. And after some extensive stat looking and all the experience I've had, the three contenders we have here is the Mustang Alpha, the Avenger Titan, and the Consolidated Outlands Nomad. So why these three? Because they all three put out some pretty good firepower and have good shield and pretty decent health points. Now, after reviewing all three of them, it's kind of obvious who the winner here is going to be just because not only does it have an extremely good amount of DPS, but it also has a bit of everything else. So, out of all three of them, the Titan is going to take first place here because it comes out on top with 1,858 DPS, 11,000 health, 3,000 shield, and still carries 8 SCU of cargo, including small vehicles. And while doing all that, it's extremely fun to fly and you can bring a group in and have a great time. So in the end, the Titan brings home the win for most combat capable. The next category we're taking a look at is the most versatile. And what that means is basically the best all around ship that you could fly for under $100, allowing you to do as many things as possible in Star Citizen. So which game package is going to allow you to do that? Well, any one of these three really could, but which one is the most versatile? Well, in my opinion, the winner for this category is very clear, and that's the Consolidated Outlands Nomad. And the reason being is because it has 24 SCU of cargo, it outputs good DPS, it has great shield strength for a starter ship, it has awesome looking hover tech, <laughs> and you can carry small vehicles, including a ROC, which allows you to go out and mine, which is awesome. That just opened up a whole nother gameplay loop for you. The CO Nomad has taken this one by storm. Now let's go ahead and move on to my last category, my pick for best overall ship for under $100. Now, before I announce what ship I find to be the best overall, just because of the experiences I've had and how fun it is to fly, I do want to let you know at the very end of the video, I'm going to be putting a ranking of each category and how the other ships scored. So stay tuned if you are interested in that. But otherwise, everybody, I really appreciate you all. Now, my choice for best overall ship is the Avenger 
Titan. I don't know why, but it's just a ship that you always come back to. It's, it's so much fun to fly. It does put out great firepower. It looks cool. It's got a very retro look to it. It's fantastic. But I will tell you, the Nomad was right next to it because the Nomad was also an amazing ship, but it just doesn't feel as fun. <laughs> but if you want to do more profession, then the Nomad's a great pick too. But the Avenger Titan has always just been a go-to anytime I've wanted to fly a very small ship and just feel like looking cool doing it. <laughs> now, there are so many good starter ships out there, not the 100i, but there are a lot of good starter ships out there. So, you know, pick one that feels right to you. When you're looking at it, just pick it, enjoy it, have a great time. You can buy 99% of the ships in game. So have fun. We'll see you out there in the verse. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great Invictus. See you out there. <laughs>